Hello everyone, today's topic of discussion is anatomy and physiology of lacrimal apparatus. So, lacrimal apparatus is one of the important part of the eye which helps in production and drainage of tears. So, lacrimal apparatus consists of two parts, tear production system and tear drainage system. First, we will discuss about the tear production system. So, tear is produced by lacrimal gland. And there are two types of lacrimal gland, main lacrimal gland and accessory lacrimal gland. And the lacrimal gland helps in the production of tears. And the main lacrimal gland has 6 to 12 ducts, which drains into superior fornix. And the main function of lacrimal gland is to produce tears under reflex condition. Whenever any injury occurs in our eyes or any infection like conjunctivitis, at that time, the main lacrimal gland secret tears. And this type of secretion is known as reflex secretion. Accessory lacrimal glands secret tears under basal condition. Even if there is no stimulus under normal condition, certain amount of tear secretion occurs. These tear secretion are caused by these types of glands. And deficiency tear secretion by these glands leads to a condition known as dry eye or if the dry eye is due to because of the abnormalities in the lacrimal gland then it is called keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Now we will discuss about the lacrimal drainage system. So lacrimal fluid which is secreted by the lacrimal gland is ultimately drained into the nose. The path through which lacrimal fluid passes is known as the lacrimal drainage system. So the parts of lacrimal radius systems are punctum, canaliculus, common canaliculus, lacrimal sac, and nasolacrimal duct. Punctum, which is an opening at the medial part of the eyelid margin, and it is situated at about 6 mm from the medial canthus. And under normal circumstances, punctum is not visible. It is only visible when we pull the eyelids uh, outwards. Tear film first enter into the punctum and then goes into the canaliculus. And the canaliculus has, its eyelid has one canaliculus. And there are two parts of canaliculus. That those are vertical portion and horizontal portion. Vertical portion is about 2 mm in length and it starts from the punctum. It bends medially at almost 90 degree to become continuous as horizontal canaliculus. And at the angle between the horizontal and vertical canaliculus, there is a dilation which is known as ampulla. And the horizontal portion is about 8 mm in length. The common canaliculus is formed by the joining of upper and lower canaliculus which drains into the lacrimal sac of lacrimal drainage system. So lacrimal sac is situated at the medial and inferior wall of the orbit in a shallow depression which is called lacrimal fossa. It acts as a reservoir for lacrimal fluid. Lacrimal sac drains into the lacry nasolacrimal duct. This sac close above and open below is continuous with nasolacrimal duct. And the parts of lacrimal sac are fundus and body. The superior part of the lacrimal sac is called fundus, which is about 3 to 5 mm in lung. And the lower part of the lacrimal sac is called body, which is about 10 mm in length. And the last part of the tear drainage system is the nasolacrimal duct, which is a downward continuation of lacrimal sac, which drains into the inferior meters of nose. And this part of the lacrimal drainage system is more prone to damage because of its proximity to the nasal cavity. And the length of the lacrimal sac is about 15 mm. So the abnormalities of lacrimal apparatus, the patient's main complaint in watering. The watering may be due to because of either abnormalities in the tear production system or abnormalities in the tear drainage system. Sometimes what happens the lacrimal gland secret more tears than normal. Our normal tear secretion rate is 1.2 microliter per minute. If the lacrimal gland secret more tears, then patients complain of 
and then it is called lacrimation. Sometimes what happens, the lacrimal gland secret less tears than normal. At the time, the patients may complain of dry eye. And sometimes the lacrimal gland secretes normal tears, but the tears it, which passes through the drainage system, it may be obstructed due to because of some abnormalities. At the time also, the patients may complain of dry eye. But these types of watering, these types of watering is known as epiphora.